It's been a while since I had your attention So let's get down, let's get down to business Let's get down, let's get down to business Welcome back to Just Gildan. And today I have extremely important news to share if you already own Gildan or planning to own Gildan. So originally I was going to start a small investment series of videos for Gildan and blockchain specifications was the first planned video. The reason is because it's important to understand the numbers you are dealing with. This was delayed because recently the Gildan advisory board opened up a discussion with the Gildan community to talk about the current specifications and if they need changing. Many participants in the community gave feedback and suggestions of their own. And based on this information, the Guild Advisory Board came up with a proposal that was accepted by the majority of people involved. Important to note that the developers will be reviewing the proposal and will confirm with the board if they have any concerns. Now I plan to discuss the reasons and thinking behind the changes from what I have read and my own personal views, but I'll leave this for another video. So let's begin. Before we discuss the changes, it's important to talk about the current specifications that are set to change. So as things stand, the max supply is 1.68 billion. The block reward is 160. And that 160 stays constant until all 1.68 billion is mined out. The block intervals is 150 seconds or every 2.5 minutes on average. The current supply as things stand is plus minus 142 million at the time of making this video. And the expected date to reach max supply is March 2055. So let's move on to the important part of this video, the Gildan specifications that are set to change. I'll repeat the current specifications and the new changes. So the max supply is 1.68 billion. The new max supply is 750 million. As of this morning, the 15th of April, 2021, the developers have confirmed this change will take place. The block reward, as we know, is 160 with no future reward reductions. The new block reward is going to go from 160 to 120 within the next three months and a halving every four years after. The developers are still reviewing this change. Maybe they have some concerns, but it's looking good at the moment. Um, I think we'll find out pretty shortly if everything is confirmed. And I will mention this in a new video. So the block intervals, that's going to remain the same. 2.5 minutes on average. The current supply, 542 million. So that doesn't change. And something I'd like to mention, because there is some confusion I've seen from some members in the community about coin burning. Um, so this isn't a coin burn. It's just the max supply is changing to 750 million from 1.68 billion, which means that's all that's going to be produced. Whatever coins you own will remain in your wallets. The only difference is the percentage of what you own increases because the max supply is going to be reduced. Okay, so the expected date to max supply was March 2055. The new date to max supply goes beyond year 2100. However, at this time, the amount of Gildan produced will be pretty negligible. The actual exact figure will be 46.1 Gildan for the whole year. So this is where I'm going to leave things until the developers have confirmed the block reward changes, as I don't want to speculate on how distribution is going to be affected in case there is some adjustments. To reiterate, max supply is going to change to 750 million. The only confirmation outstanding is the proposal on the block reward changes being reviewed by the developers. Once all this is confirmed, I will do a more detailed video on the subject with more delicious stats. Thank you for listening and take care.